How's it going guys? Today we're gonna be multi-apping with Instacart and Shipt. That is the plan at least. So we just drove all the way out here, hoping for a nice big batch early in the morning and we only got a $29 order. And the kicker is it's probably like 11 waters in total. It's gonna be really heavy and probably was a mistake. I saw low items and didn't look at the units and swiped it. I was like, ah, easy order. And then it's just, yeah, heavy. What a way to start out the day, a workout. And possibly blowing out a tire soon, maybe. This order is very heavy, as you guys can see. I'm a clown for taking this. Don't do what I did. But with that being said, um, this is a, a customer I've delivered to before. It is two people, but most of the heavy stuff is one customer. It's a, a company, and yeah, they have instructions. Please deliver all items purchased because they usually order even more than this, like way too much for one person in a car. But uh, luckily they're like a mile away or something like that, 1.6 miles away. So it's not too bad, but they're also the type of people that want you to stock their uh, their pantry for them. Yeah. It's only a $20 order too, so I don't think they tip that well. Oh, got a mask too, because they want me to wear that while lifting all this heavy stuff. So yeah, let's go. So excited. Take it up the hill. Oh yeah. Why am I doing this? Probably gonna blow out a tire, this is awful. All right, so we just dropped off both orders. Looks like we're at $31, which is a little more than I was expecting. I think originally it said just like flat 29, so I'm happy with the dollar 50 cent extra so the first order tipped me five dollars and then the second one tipped me ten dollars it went up because they added an item so uh the first company they had me do seven waters and four packs of gatorades four one second okay thought i was missing a good batch but yeah seven packs of water four gatorades for a five dollar tip very epic. At least last time they used to tip well. Now they don't even tip well. It's just a flat $5. Probably because so many people just haven't been delivering the full order because it's just flat out too heavy for their cars. Costco's getting worse and worse just because companies are finding out about Instacart and um, slash Costco deliveries and how they can order that much stuff and not have to pay for some freight hauling company like Cisco. I'm sure it saves them a lot of money. It causes people like me a lot of back pain and uh, suspension damage. My suspension already makes weird noises from doing all this stuff, but it is what it is. But I'm not too worried about it because I'm gonna replace it soon myself anyways. I was hoping to get a bigger order this morning and just go home and edit a video, but um, now I'm gonna have to do another order and then go home. And then we're gonna do some shipped later tonight. We're gonna do a little experimenting, see how it goes. But first, uh, gotta take a look at this view. All right, so as I was driving by this HEB, points camera at the guy. Anyways, as I was driving past there, I ended up getting a $43 order. Not what I was expecting, but uh, as you guys can see here, pretty simple stuff. Kind of hard to hide the name and scroll, so yeah, you only get to see a little bit of this order. The most time consuming thing about this order is gonna be getting the cheese and the deli meat cut. Other than that, it should be pretty straightforward. The miles were low too, so we'll be at like 73 then I'm probably gonna go home unless if I get some really fast because I gotta actually multi-app today. I can't just keep using Instacart. All right, order went all right. Two refunds and then um, one of the customers added a few items after I passed almost all the aisles so slowed me down a little but hopefully that means our tip goes up a little but i kind of doubt it because i had to do a couple refunds on the other customer so we're gonna go drive to customer a they're really close only four miles away eight minutes pretty easy
camera recording for a good like 20 to 30 minutes there. So oops. Today's lunch review, we're gonna have some pizza off-brand Lunchable stuff. So I'm at Costco. Um, I probably should have gone home, but I'm hoping for one more order going back to where I live. Might be a mistake because my buddy here has been sitting for a while, which is why we got to start multi-apping. All right guys, so I was driving out of the Costco lot and I got a $32 order going back to where I was going to be driving anyways to go back home. So I'm going to take this 32 and that should get us close to like 105, I think, or maybe 108 actually, because we got a tip increase for my second order. So this will be the last order I do, unless if I see something crazy for Instacart. And then I'm going to go edit and then we're actually going to go multi-app and do shift. So we're going to do like 105, 108 on Instacart and then maybe another 50 on shift. That's the goal. Super easy order as well. Just like uh, seven items, 17 miles, but they're miles I'm going to be driving either way. All right, guys, so we are on my phone now because I was formatting my SD card and completely forgot to throw it back in the GoPro. So we're on the iPhone again. Maybe drop a comment down below if you guys like this angle more than the GoPro or vice versa. Anyways, we just had a couple hours at home, maybe a little less and um, we made a video, not the video I was planning to make, but we have a video out on the channel, so I'm happy. Basically, my last order was a complete disaster and I couldn't even finish it. The support agent had to remove it because of some payment issue that seems to be nationwide. This happened a few months ago and it happened again today and I shot this nice little order that was gonna be going right back next to my house and yeah, I only got half the pay and I probably worked twice as much because I was waiting for agents to try and fix the issue for a long time. Me and like three of my coworkers were all waiting for everything to get fixed and we basically, I think, all got the batches removed. So yeah, Instacart is broken, which is why we are happily moving on to shipped. I have two shipped orders that are due within the next hour and a half. They're both really small. I have one at HEB, which I'm gonna do first because the drop off is really close to my next store. And then we're gonna finish the Target order right after that. We just finished shopping that order in like five minutes and we're trying to deliver to an apartment, but I need a gate code and they didn't give me one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through the exit only. Since apparently my customer thinks that I could uh, just get through here with no problems, which is just so annoying. If you guys live in an apartment, at least let us know how to get into your apartment complex because we're not supposed to follow people in and we could damage our car doing that. So we are back. We are back at it, ready for our next Target order. So right now we're on our way to Target for our order that was also due at the same time. It's only five items and probably like 15 minutes away from the store. So I'm pretty hopeful that we'll get this done on time as well because I have 55 minutes to get this order shopped and delivered and it seems pretty simple. As I said that, we got stuck in traffic. Yay. All right, it's very windy, so hopefully you can still hear me. This order went pretty smooth. I'm gonna throw all the cold stuff in a cold bag, even though I'm in a rush. See if we can make the customer happy. We should be on time at least, just barely. Seems to be a, a reoccurring theme with shipped and me. But I'm gonna go drop this order off because I'm just one bad traffic light away from being late, so see you in a minute. All right, so we just finished that order. It's right there. It was only three items and two out of three were out of stock. Thank you, Walgreens. Yeah, it's been a rough day, but we did just get our last order, I think, for ship and it's due between seven and eight. So we have an hour and a half to get that done. This drop off is really close and also close to the store that I will be shopping at. The shipped order I took was originally like just five items and they added a ton, which sucks. And it's a new store, so it's a little hard to find everything there right now, but I think we'll do all right. All right guys, so we just dropped off that order. We're on our way to the next store. 
it's only five minutes away. The order is still pretty small, even though they added a bunch of items. So we should be able to get this done on time, if not early. And then I'm ready to go home and get some food. Like usual, whenever I do shift, because their tips aren't required like from the very get-go, there is a delay on the tip. So I usually record the last segment for these videos a day or two later. So just a heads up on that. So if you guys, so just a heads up on that. If I look completely different, that's why. All right, last order incoming, H-E-B. Of course. All right, order has been shopped. We did it in five minutes. Like we were able to go over there, shop it and get back here probably in like 10 minutes. So we did that really fast. I'm super tired because I didn't bring a cart all the way out here because the parking lot's really messed up. The cart guys have it hard. So I walked all the way over and it didn't look heavy until I had to carry it as far as I did. Now I'm tired, but I'm definitely gonna be ready for dinner by the time we're done today. All right. What is up with that? That is not right. How are you gonna show the fake gas price and not show the real one right there? That is really sus, not gonna lie. All right guys, so it has been a few days and we have almost all our tips in, I think. You never know was shipped. But basically we ended the day at around $155 for around eight hours of work to make our hourly rate around 19 an hour. Now today was a weird day. We had the whole Instacart problem where the payments weren't going through. So we had to cancel my last Instacart order, which means we lost a $20 tip even after shopping it. And yeah, basically we spent more time doing the order just to get half the pay not a fun day if that order actually went through correctly we would have been closer to 175 which would have made this hourly rate a lot nicer so we did four orders on ship and then four on instacart instacart paid us around hundred dollars and ship paid us around fifty dollars so there you guys have it multi-apping with shipped and instacart the two best grocery delivery apps if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys slap that like button down below and i'll see you guys on the next video